the Rhino Tank, a tank that has been Grand Theft Auto ever since its lifespan of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Is it any good? Hey there everyone, we're going to be taking a look at the Rhino Tank. So this tank has been in the form of Grand Theft Auto ever since Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So this tank performs very nice off-road because it's, you know, there's tracks on it. The tank fires in a, a lethal shell, which means that tank shell, when it explodes, it can destroy anything that it touches. It could aim pretty high as well because of how much uh, clearance it has, so it can destroy helicopters. Performing on the road is not too bad, it's still pretty slow though. But whenever you run over a car, it will the car will instantly explode, which instantly makes it like the tank damaged. So be careful when you're riding around on the road because it, this it can this can get really damaged really quickly. By the looks of the tank, you know it looks really decent because of the next gen uh, graphics. But look at the gun. The gun has really bad graphics. Something I would expect from the older gen. You can't even use the gun, so that's not. This I don't know why they would put that on there, but well, there's no point in the gun, so don't try it anytime soon. Meh, I guess it was for show. Be careful running around the map too, because your icon is gonna be huge, which makes it more, which makes you more invulnerable to players, and players will want to kill you a lot more, because the tank is something to be very feared of whenever you see it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you either in the next guide or video I make. Later.